so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video we are going to talk about how we can create that kind of instagram and real logo animation in blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and here you can see guys this is my project file here you can see and in this video i have used the uh, svg for creating the logos basically okay so i will show you each and everything in this video so make sure you watch this tutorial till end but first of all i just want to open a new project file so let's start it so here you can see guys here we have a new project file so first of all i just want to rid of this cube pressing to delete okay and after that i will just enable my shortcut vr so you guys can easily see which key i'm pressing on the right hand side so for creating the that kind of animation so we need logos first of all so for that i will use the svg and if you guys don't know how to import the svg in blender so first of all you need to go your uh, edit preference and here you have to just go to your add-on section and from here you have to just enable one add-on it's called basically svg import and export yeah so that is that add-on basically so make sure you enable this add-on from the here and after that you will just get the uh, import option the svg from here here you can see we have uh, some option is import scalable vector graphics you have to just click this option and you have to just uh, locate your svg file where you have saved basically and if you guys want the same svg so you will get the both um, svg link into our description so make sure to download from there so first of all i will just import my instagram svg so here you can see we have a that instagram svg so first of all i just want to select my instagram logo basically and then i'm just going to press the right click and here i will just do set origin to geometry okay then i will just press the shift s and i will just do select to cursor again select section to cursor yeah i think yeah now now it will come in automatically into center of the grid something like that and then i'm just going to scale this something like that and after scaling your object make sure you apply the scale okay i think that's look nice to me then i'm just going to my top view so here you can see that looks something like that so first of all we need little thickness into our logo so for that i will just go to my curve properties and here i will just open my geometry section and uh, we'll just increase little uh, extrusion value which is give us little thickness into our uh, logo basically okay and if you wanted to increase the all shapes thickness at once so you have to just press the alt then you have to just click this extrude value and you have to just press the value 0.005 and you will get the thickness at once in all objects something like that okay and after that what you have to do you have to just add one cube here and then you have to just scale this cube something like that and make sure you just drag it a little bit down yeah i think that's look nice and first of all you have to just try to align this uh, cube according to our logo basically i think that's look nice to me yeah and after that make sure you apply the scale first of all then you have to just go to your modifier section and here you have to just add the uh, bevel modifier so it will create little bevel edges and make sure you increase the amount and you also increase the segment as well so yeah here you can see we have that kind of shape here so what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna increase little thickness and then i'm just apply the scale again and then i will just increase the little amount so we'll just get more smooth corners and i'm just gonna drag it a little bit down and here you can see that looks something like that and which is look nice to me okay and after that i will just do shade smooth to create a more smoothness into our cube basically yeah so here you can see guys our first shape is almost done now we have to just add one empty hole and i'm just gonna keep it as a center yeah then i'm just gonna select my all object and after that i will select my empty and then i will just press the control p and now i will just do set parent as a object and keep transform so now when i'm just move the my empty so all the object going along with them basically and that's so nice because when we will do animation that will be very helpful for us to moving our object uh, at once we don't need to select all the object uh, ind individually we, we have to just select our empty and we can just we, we can able to move all whole object at once basically okay so our first shape is done now we need a reels logo so we'll do same process with the reels logo as well so i'm gonna skip this process because i've already shown you each and everything what you have to do to create the same kind of shape what you have to do exactly so i'm just gonna skip this process so here we go guys here you can see we have also a real logo as well so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna rotate the boat shape into a front direction 90 degrees something like that and then i'm just gonna my camera view pressing the zero and i will just unlock my camera pressing the end and i will just go to my view and i will just click the camera to view so now i will able to move my object in a camera view as well yeah something like that 
okay so right now that camera view is look nice to me yeah and one more thing i just want to do i will just select my camera i will just go to my viewport display I mean, and i will just increase the value overall one okay now i'm just going to lock my camera yeah something like that okay so here you can see guys our shape is almost done and i also set my camera view so now i'm just going to switch my shading panel and we'll just add some color into our objects so for adding the color we have to just select our object then we have to just click the new and here you can see we have a new material slot here now i will just add some node here so first of all i will just add color ramp and i'm just going to plug this color ramp into our base color and i will just add one more uh, node it's called basically gradient texture yeah and i will just plug this color into our fac and we'll just change the linear as a diagonal and we'll also change the linear as a base spline so here you can see guys now we have a that kind of effect here now what we are going to do we'll add some uh, gradient effect here same like instagram logo so for that we'll just select our white slider and we'll just do little yellow something like that and then we'll just select our black slider and we'll just do little red something like that now i'm just going to add in between one more slider and we'll just uh, add little bluish yeah i think that look nice and we'll just add more yellow i will just add one more uh, slide in between here and we'll just change the color a little purple yeah little blue yeah something like that yeah i think now that's look nice to me yeah i think that color is look nice to me and we'll also change this color a little purple and this one will do little red yeah that's look nice now okay so we'll add the same color into our other part as well so for that i'm just gonna select this one then i will select this one and i will just do Control l and here we'll see link material so we'll just get a same logo into our other part as well now i will select my logo and i will just also add a base color and a normal principal bsd of node into our logo as well and we'll again do same process select our logo then select this one to control l and do link material and we'll decrease little roughness as well so you can see guys that look something like that right now now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna make camera view and we'll just select our empties and i'm just gonna do little rotation so for that i'm just gonna rotate this something like that and do little rotation something like that and we'll just select this axis as a local and we'll just do i think global is look nice we'll just do little rotation something like that i think that is look nice to me we can just keep it here to here yeah that's look nice now same thing we'll do with our uh, real logo as well we'll just select r z and we'll just rotate it and then i'm just gonna r y we'll do just rotation something like that now i'm just gonna do manually a little bit yeah i think that's look nice yeah okay so all right guys here you can see our shape is done now okay and that uh, look nice to me now i'm just gonna switch my material preview and here and here i'm just gonna add one spare and i'm just gonna scale it down and keep it here to here a little bit scale up apply the scale i'm gonna just draw okay and 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 i will just do shade smooth right click and i will just add the same uh, color which is i have added into our instagram logo yeah link material now i'm just going to duplicate this here here and here something like that and if you want to add little depth so you can just do little backward and little forward something like that so you will get some little depth all the balls basically yeah i think that's so nice so now i'm just going to add the animation into our shapes so for that i will just select that empty then i'm just going to press the i and add the rotation key then i'm just going to move it into my 40th frame and i will just press the n and go to our uh, transform settings and here i will just uh, move this whole shape into a 360 degree and then i will again press the i so here you can see we have a, that kind of animation that's look nice to me and same thing we'll do with this uh, real logo as well we'll just go to our first frame i will just press the i 
do rotation then i will just go to my 40th frame and i'm just gonna do minus 360 degree and again i will just press the i so now here you can see we have a uh, that kind of animation which is look nice to me okay guys so here you can see our uh, first animation is done now now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna my 50th frame and i'm just gonna uh, press the i again and do rotation and then i will just uh, go to my 55 frame and i will just select this one this 40th frame key and i will just do control c control v and then i'm just gonna my 80th frame and i will just select the first one to control c control v so now here you can see that animation will be played something like that this one and this one that means that will be playing up backward and forward something like that and same thing i will do with the other um, logo as well so i'm just gonna skip this process and we'll also add the some uh, keyframe uh, into our balls so that will be moved something like that i will just press the i to rotation and sorry then i will just press the i and do uh, location and i'm just going to my 40th frame and i will just move this one here to here and i will just press the i again and then i will just again go to my first frame i will select this one and i will just press the location and again i will just to go to my 40th frame and i will just move here to here and then i will press again the location okay so these balls also will be move something like that so i'm just going to skip this process for now because i have already shown you how we how i move this okay so let's do it so all right guys here you can see we have a final animation that looks something like that and that's look nice to me yeah that's look nice so now what we have to do we have to just add some lighting into our scene so for that i'm just gonna switch my rendering mode and here i will just add one plane and i'm just gonna scale this plane something like that first of all and i will just create one ground and uh, make sure that floor is closer to our icons yeah something like that now after that what you have to do you have to just switch your rendering mode and here you have to just add the one plane and just scale it and keep it top of the both logos yeah something like that and after that you have to just go to the material section and here you have to just add a new material and change the surface as an emission and uh, increase the emissions yeah so that looks something like that so i'm just gonna copy this plane and keep it one in front of our camera something like that basically basically not front of the camera backward of the camera yeah and that look nice we can just move this slide here to here yeah and we can just increase the strength of this light and this one also little bit yeah and we'll just add the one gradient color into our ground as well so we'll just use the i think this one is look nice to me and we'll just add little specular and decrease the roughness as well so now here you can see that looks something like that and we have a good lighting also in our scene i'm just gonna scale this something like that yeah that's look nice to me yeah so here you can see guys that lighting is also look nice to me okay now what we have to do we have to just go to our render properties and here you have to just set the as a gpu and set the render engine as a cycle go to a render output and set your final output folder and then you have to just go to render and do render animation and when your render will complete so it will look something like that So thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button and the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys